The Quantum Doctor, a physicist's guide to health and healing. Dr. Amit Goswami. Quantum healing, a concept introduced by the physician Deepak Chopra, is the result of a creative quantum leap, measurement, memory and conditioning. What is the nature of the subject, self of self-reference, that arises from tangled hierarchical quantum measurements? Consciousness identifies with the brain that becomes the subject of the resultant subject-object split. This identity I will call the quantum self. In this identity, the self is universal, that is, it has no personality. And the choice from possibility to actuality is free and potentially creative. Much confusion arises in relating to this picture because this is not the self we regularly experience in waking awareness. How do we get from the universal, unitive, quantum self-identity to the local and personal ego identity? The answer, in a nutshell, is conditioning. Experiences brought about by quantum measurements in the brain produce memory. A repeated stimulus is usually experienced, reflected in the mirror of past memory through secondary awareness processes. In contrast, the first collapse event in response to a stimulus is called a primary awareness event. This reflection in the mirror of memory reinforces the probabilities of the subsequent collapse in favour of the conditioned response. Mitchell and Goswami, 1992 I will call this quantum memory as opposed to ordinary content memory, which requires a macro body. Over time, all our responses to learned stimuli comprise a habit pattern. The quantum self-identity which is natural for a young child gradually gives way to an identity with a particular history and habit patterns, an identity that we call the ego. A quick aside, since our mind is correlated with the brain, as we develop a brain individuality via quantum memory, we also develop quantum memory and habit patterns of the mind, an individual mind. The same thing can be said of our physical body, vital body duo. Experiences produce an individual vital body with individual vital propensities. These mental and vital propensities are what Easterners call karma, and that plays a crucial role in the scientific theory of reincarnation. When an individual's physical body dies, what survive are the vital and mental bodies with their vital and mental karma. This karma is recycled to the next incarnation. Learn more about our exciting educational programs at quantumuniversity.com.